Thank you very much for joining us on Showcase. So your first book, Agnes, the first published book, but you've had a, you had a journey towards it. So you had a few books before that that weren't published. Well, it was just, uh, I mean, there is no apprenticeship for writing. You can't study writing. Well, you can, but it doesn't really help much, I guess. Uh, so uh, learning to write was just writing books and bad books, to be honest. And I hoped that I got better and better. And finally, the third book was, I hope, was OK. When you say you're writing bad books, what's a bad book to yourself? Well, there are many kinds of bad books, but, but the bad books that I wrote were books that tried to give answers to people. I, I, at the young age, you think that you know everything, but you understand nothing. I had a, a message for the world, and that's not how you write books. So in my later books, I, I have questions, but I don't have answers, and I think that makes much better books. Agnes fiel mir gleich auf, als sie sich im Lesesaal vor mich setzte. Ihr Gesicht war schmal und bleich. Unsere Blicke trafen sich für einen Moment. With Agnes was turned into a film. What was that like as a journey for you? Was there a lot of things you had to change? Was there a lot of control you had on that? I didn't really. I, I, well, I did write a, a script for an Agnes film like 20 years ago, but that film was never made. And then 15 years later, another guy came and said, wanted to make a film. So I said, well, do it, but I won't work with, I mean, I don't want to write uh, the script. And he didn't want me to write the script. So I let them just do their work and, and Sometimes he, we talked and he asked some questions. He showed me some, some uh, actors that would play in the film. But I wasn't really part of the making. Was there a reason behind that? There have been so many film projects after my books and that's, there are very few that actually finally uh, led to a film. So I just said I don't have time to deal with projects that in the end uh, never come to an end. So generally I just say do, do what you want and uh, make a good film and I'll see it when it's finished. What did you think about the finished film? I liked it very much, especially the actors were great and, and they had a great camera. The, no, it's a beautiful film. It's not, I mean, it's not just one to one the same as the book. And what was the big change that you felt was either a good thing or a bad thing? There is not one big change. You just had to somehow take out a few characters and, and to, to concentrate it a little bit. And, and of course, for me, the big change was that I actually saw mm -hmm. the characters. I mean, I had them in my mind before, but, but suddenly there, was, there were human beings who said, I'm Agnes, I'm uh, this and that person. And that was quite uh, amazing. What is your process? So when you actually you know, think of an idea, do you research a character or do you sit down and write a plan out? and then think, okay, now I'm going to start writing the first words, or do you sort of write and learn as you go along? I start with usually very little information. I don't know much about what's going to happen. I have a character, I have a place, I have a basic idea or maybe a, a question, or, and then I start writing and do research while I'm writing because I don't know in the beginning what I have to research. So I, I just start writing and then I realize I have to know this and that, and then I do some research on that. And, go on. And is there ever any kind of scene or a character that's been very really difficult to write? The difficult part, say, if, if I have a character that's very difficult, usually the book doesn't come out. I, I usually abandon the project because if, if I can't identify with the character, it makes no sense. So I just throw it away. And how many novels have you got like that where they're not complete or maybe half complete? Since Agnes, I had two, three, maybe. Long projects, I mean, really a few hundred pages. Would you ever go back to them? No. It's, it's not worth it. It's, it's, it's like when you cook a soup and you put too much salt in it. You cannot, you cannot remove the salt. It's, it's just start anew. There is no, it doesn't make sense to try to save the soup. Bad soup is bad soup. <laughs> <laughs> now I learned that from, from, I have many painter friends and, and I've seen painters, they really throw away a lot. So they, they just saw something and they see it doesn't work and then they just throw it away. I think a writer should, or any artist should, have a certain generosity. So don't cling to every sentence you've ever written. Just throw away stuff and start anew. When books are translated, is anything ever lost or added or gained? I mean, in a way, it's impossible to translate a book. But then we have to do it, because it's, uh, if, if there were no translations, I couldn't have read half of the book I've read, I couldn't have read. So I'm extremely happy and, and grateful that there are people who do that work, which is a hard work and, and not well paid. And I think it, everything can happen. 
there are some people say there are translations that are better than the original in some cases. Or you can lose something, of course. There are bad translations sometimes. And uh, it seems that I'm very lucky with my translators. It seems they, they really did a great job. Well, the process of finding a translator, do you sort of screen them? The only thing I can do is help them if they need help. I, mean, I always offer, write to me if you have questions. I make like little fact sheets for each book with like where I have citations and, and stuff like that where I explain certain things about the book. So just to make them life easier for them. But how long does it take on average for you to write a novel? It's between, it's more than a year and usually less than two years. So it's one and a half years, a bit more, a bit less. Once you finish one, do you go on to the next one straight away? Do you take a break or is that a process? It depends. Sometimes I just start a new one and sometimes it takes a few months till I restart. Because usually when a book is published, I, I do lots of readings and, and travel around and, and then sometimes it's not so easy to write it in that period. You were interested in the human psyche and writing and books from a young age. Was there a pivotal moment where you thought, okay, I just want to focus on that? Not really. I mean, I liked uh, all kind of creative work. I, I wanted to become a photographer for a certain time. I liked to, to draw. I made some music. And finally, maybe it was just writing that I felt maybe the, the art I'm most talented in. Or I was too lazy for playing music. You know, for example, it was just not uh, exercising enough or rehearsing enough. And writing somehow stayed with me. How do you exercise your writing? All kind, yeah, even art. I go to art shows a lot. Um, and, and just living, I mean, part of it is also personal development. Because I think your style has a lot to do with your personality, in a way. So it's a lot more complicated than just knowing how to write nice sentences and having knowing many words. That's not the point. At the moment, are you reading any particular author or novel? I'm mostly reading my own stuff by reading it from front of the public. I, I, before I came here, I started reading some Turkish authors because I wanted to know what's happening in Turkey right now. And I was astonished how, how diverse Turkish literature is at the moment. I've read Orban Pamuk, that was the first one. And then I started reading a book, uh, Ahmed Altin, I'm, I'm reading right now. There is a book of uh, the young woman wrote, The Girl in the Tree, Isi Güzel, I think. So it's completely different, different uh, works, but all of them interesting, fascinating. I've read some Japanese books lately. And there was one, The, the Woman in the Dunes. Well, it's a very existential, exi existentialistic tale of a, a man uh, coming to a village, looks for insects, he's an insect collector. And it's a village in the dunes and then he realizes the, the house is actually down in the sand. And then they let him sleep there and, and the next morning they won't let him out again. And then he realizes that these people do have to shovel sand every day so the dune doesn't uh, bury the whole village. So, so he has to stay there and help this woman down in the dunes to shovel sand day and night, and uh, it's a very strange book. There is also a famous film made after this, this book. What are you working on next? I'm working on short stories right now. Yeah, I guess the next book will probably be a collection of short stories. Well, Peter, pleasure meeting you. Thank you very much for Thank coming you. on Showcase, and I look forward to seeing you next week.